hi guys welcome to today's uh, session and today we are going to discuss about nuclear supplies group nsd and in this session we will first see an overview of nsd and then we will see the criteria for membership in nsd and uh, there is one no nuclear non-proliferation treaty npt and we will see the difference between uh, the npt and nsd and uh, then we'll see why the membership of uh, nsg is important for india and uh, finally we will discuss about factors in favor of india's membership to nsg so that's how i planned this lesson let's now start so the nuclear supplies group or nsg was created following the explosion in 1974 of a nuclear device by non-nuclear weapon state india so this created the nuclear supplies group we tested nuclear device in 1974 and following that nuclear uh, supplies group is created and um, it demonstrated the 1974 experiment uh, demonstrated that nuclear technology transferred for peaceful purposes could be misused and uh, nsg is a group of nuclear supplies country uh, that seeks to contribute to the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons through the implementation of two sets of uh, guidelines for nuclear exports and no nuclear related exports and um, this grouping has 48 uh, participating governments and the nsd guidelines are implemented by each member in accordance with its national laws and practices and uh, nsd decisions are taken by consensus so that is an overview of NC uh, nsd and now we will see the criteria for membership in nsd the criteria for membership are the ability to supply items including items in transit covered by the annexes to parts 1 and 2 of the NSD guidelines and there should be adherence to guidelines and action in accordance with them and there should be enforcement of a legally based domestic export control system which gives effect to the commitment to act in accordance with the guidelines and uh, there should be full compliance with the obligations of one or more nuclear non-proliferation agreement and uh, the support of international efforts towards non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction and of the delivery vehicle is important to get a membership uh, a criteria uh, for a membership in NSD and uh, India is not a member uh, to NSD and the reason behind is that in short the opposition uh, from uh, countries like china as india has not signed nuclear non-proliferation treaty so npt uh, is not signed by uh, india which is a prerequisite to uh, for the membership in nsd and uh, but there is more to this uh, let's analyze first the sequences of some events connected to nuclear supply and uh, proliferation so in this slide we will discuss about NPT that is non-proliferation treaty and NSD. So NPT is an international treaty which came into force in 1970 and the main objective was to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and weapons technology and uh, apart from India, Pakistan and Israel have also not signed NPT and uh, India refused to sign NPT because one reason is that NPT defines nuclear weapon states as uh, those that tested devices that is nuclear devices before 1967 which means india cannot ever be one uh, that nuclear weapon state so that was one reason and another one is that there is no fixed timelines have been mentioned for disarmament and uh, another reason is that npt is unfair treaty as nuclear weapon states have no obligation to give them up while uh, non-nuclear states are not allowed to have uh, them so there is a disparity in this clause also and uh, we refused to sign this npt and india conducted its first nuclear test in pokhran uh, that is uh, in 19 that was in 1974 and that yeah that was called as smiling buddha and uh, the nuclear powers uh, were convinced that nuclear non-proliferation treaty alone would would not halt the spread of nuclear weapons and consequently nsd that is nuclear supplies form um, uh, nuclear supplies group was formed in 1974 so that is the origin of uh, nsg first 
NPT was there in 1970 and uh, then NSD is created and the current guidelines of NSD state that non-NPT state cannot be a member of NSD which keeps India out of the group and in 1998 uh, India conducted the second nuclear test called Operation Shakti and uh, India is committed to voluntary unilateral moratorium on nuclear testing and it has taken voluntary measures to ensure strong nuclear export control. However, the new sanctions were uh, imposed on India by Western countries, especially US. In the pre-2005 period, NSG denied uh, fuel for our Tarapur uh, atomic power station while US used MTCR, that is Missile Technology Control Regime, uh, that MTCR provisions to prevent the transfer of cryogenic engine technology from Russia. So uh, we, it was a setback for us and India finally managed to have some relief when the US relented and agreed uh, to a civil nuclear deal with India in 2008. And this agreement has been done in the view of uh, requirement of uh, US under section 123 of its Atomic Energy Act 1954, hence it is also known as 123 Agreement. Under this agreement, India signed a civil military separation plan and also one other another agreement that is between India and the International Atomic Energy Agency. Uh, it was a safeguard agreement and in return, uh, US diplomacy helped us to get NSD behavior. And also previously in November 2010, then US President Barack Obama announced a US support for India's participation in nuclear supplies group, the Wassenaar Agreement, Australia Group and the MTCR and in a phased manner. And also he insisted to encourage uh, the evolution of regime participation criteria to that end and consistent with maintaining the core principles of uh, these regimes. And India has taken a formal pledge stating that uh, it would not share sensitive nuclear technology or material with others and would uphold its voluntary moratorium on testing nuclear weapons. And due to which NST participating governments agreed to grant India a clean waiver from its existing rule which forbid nuclear trade with the country which has not assigned the nuclear non-proliferation treaty. So this made India eligible to receive advanced nuclear technologies that could be used to enrich uranium and reprocess plutonium. So and this has helped India a lot. However, being out of the elite NSD group has kept India still out of latest technologies as it is the NSG members that have the latest and most efficient technology. This is a drawback for us and in 2016 India applied for NSG membership again. Uh, Pakistan and uh, Namibia followed the suit. So that is the current status. India is not at a party to NSG and uh, we will now see why the membership is important for India. The membership to NSD will essentially uh, increase India's access to state-of-the-art technology from the other members of the group and also access to technology and being allowed to produce nuclear equipment will give a boost to India's Make in India program that will in turn boost the economic growth of our country and also as per our uh, INDC under uh, Paris Climate Agreement, we have committed to reducing dependence on fossil fuels and ensuring that 40% of its energy is sourced from renewable and clean sources. So in order to achieve this target, we need to scale up nuclear power production. This can only happen if India gains access to NSD. And also Namibia is the fourth largest producer of uranium and uh, it agreed to sell the nuclear fuel to India in 2009. However, that hasn't happened as Namibia has signed the Pelindaba Treaty which essentially controls the supply of uranium from Africa to the rest of the world. So, so if India joins the NSD, such reservations from Namibia are expected to melt away. So these are the reasons why the membership is important for India and we will now discuss the factors in favor of India's membership. One of the major factors is that France got membership in the NSD group without signing NPT and uh, we are also a non-signatory of uh, NPT and we also believe that it might work favorable to our entrance to NSD 
and uh, there is a commitment to non-proliferation we are strongly abiding it also and India's commitment to bifurcate its civilian and mul uh, military nuclear programs along with its non-proliferation record ensured indigenously developed technology is not shared with other countries. So we have a good track record on this. Uh, we are strongly abiding our principles. So this is a favorable condition for our entrance. And also there is a transparency in our programs. India has ratified an additional protocol with International Atomic Energy Agency, which means that its civilian reactors are under IAEA, that is International Atomic Energy Agency safeguards and open for IAEA inspections. So that are the favorable factors. We hope um, we will get uh, admission into this nuclear supplies group soon. And that's all for today guys. Uh, we'll meet tomorrow with another topic. Thank you for watching this lesson.